Hello, this is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed Christ follower. Today I'm going to show you how I made my beat Big Breakfast off of my beat tape, I'm Always Ready. This tape is available to stream on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, wherever you listen to music, and is also available to lease on my website if you're an artist who needs beats, if you're a YouTuber who needs background music for their, for their videos, and is available for free for nonprofit use. So let's switch over to the computer and let me break down this beat. So I'm making the majority of my beats in Logic Pro 10, but for this beat, I actually I used the machine software. I started off using the original version of machine software uh, when I first got into pr producing, but now actually I switched over to Logic and I just use machine inside of Logic as a plugin. Uh, but every now and then I like to just challenge myself and go back to machine software just to give myself um, a challenge and just to do something different and switch up my workflow. I made this beat around the time when I had originally got the machine MK3 controller. So I wanted to challenge myself and make the beat entirely with the controller itself instead of going back and forth between uh, my machine and my keyboard. So I started off this, this beat with some chords. And after the chords, I added in some, some drums. I'm gonna just loop this part real quick just to talk about it. What I did over here was, instead of ha just having a drop right there, I just added in the hi-hat and that rim just to give it a different dynamic. I didn't want it to drop fully yet. Just wanted to build some anticipation. And one thing, one thing cool that I did too was actually with the, um, the rim, was that I pitched it in certain parts. I just pitched it up and down. Hit normal, then it goes down, down and up. And then afterwards, that's when the drop kicked in and that's when I imagined the guy starts rapping. from the verses so what I did was actually rather than use the same 808 that I used before I switched it up to this sub bass and I changed up the pattern there too so rather than it just being the same 808 the entire time I just used a sub bass I got out of Monarch, which is I use I use a lot of Monarch's uh, sub basses in my music. And instead of having it just ring out the entire time, just like the 808, I had a sustain for a couple bars and then it just stopped. Something else that I did here was. For a lot of trap beats, people tend to be on the grid. They quantize all their notes, and that's cool, but I wanted to switch it up. Most of these hits are quantized, but I have some auxiliary percussion that I just played off grid, and I did that on purpose just to give it some swing because you don't really hear a lot of swing in a lot of trap beats. So let me, let me just solo the drums. Just listen to, to these right here. So I'll turn on the metronome just so you can hear. They're just very slightly off. You can see right here visually too that they're not perfectly on the grid and I like that and you you might want to do that in your beats if you just want to give them some swing give them a different feel if you don't want things to sound as robotic that's what I like to do mainly with um, auxiliary percussion when working with uh, trap beats but you can do this with your kick and your snare and even your hi-hats too 
and then from there it just pretty much the beat just loops on again this is a really simple beat so from there I don't mix any of my beats with machine this is not really what machine was made to do so I just exported everything through as WAV files and then I imported the track out to logic and here's what the beat sounded like after I mixed it go over some quick things that I did in the mix of this beat I'm not gonna go over every single thing but one thing I did on the chords I just took out some low end took out a little bit of the high end I had two different kicks going on so I just EQ them both just to fit each other the samples were already really nice so I didn't have to do a, a ton of EQing to them but I like to just add and subtract a little bit just to make things fit together and one really cool thing that I experimented with on this beat that I don't always do is add a little bit of a bit crusher to both the kicks. Just to make it pop out a little bit more on smaller speakers that don't have a whole lot of bass. And it just gives it a more aggressive sound. So let me, let me play them without it. And this is with it. And, that, and I don't always do that on all my kicks. I just wanted to experiment with it on this beat and just hear what it sounds like. And it, if especially, you'll hear this, especially if you play this on smaller speakers or notice that uh, they just pop out a lot more. And like I said before, I make the majority of my beats in Logic. I make them and I mix them in Logic. One cool thing about just using Machine and just exporting the track outs and mixing them in Logic is that right now when I, when I mix this beat, I was only focused on mixing it. I did all my arranging in machine, so the beat was pretty much laid out the way I wanted it to be, and then I could just come in, in Logic and just focus on making it sound good. And another cool thing about this too is that if you're only working with audio files instead of MIDI files and having all the instances of contact or massive or whatever synths that you worked with, um, it's just running audio right now, so the session just runs a lot quicker. You don't get as many system overloads as you would if you made the beat and mixed it within the same session. That's still how I do it for the majority of the beats that I make anyways, just because that's still easier to me a lot of the times. And then an easy work around that is that I just bounce everything in place. But this is just what I did with this particular beat. And, but I like to go this route every now and then for different beats that I make just to challenge myself and give myself a different workflow. And that's the beat. So there you go. That's how I made my beat Big Breakfast off of my beat tape, I'm Always Ready. Like I said before, you can stream it on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, wherever you listen to music. And also if you're an artist who needs beats or if you're a YouTuber who needs background music, you can lease it off my website right now for as low as $20 and it's also available for free for nonprofit use. If you just want to throw it up on YouTube or SoundCloud and just not make money off of it, it's free for you to use. Go down in the comment section, let me know if you have any questions about how I make this beat and give me some ideas or topics for videos I can do in the future. My name is El Marquis, El Marquis Productions. God bless. El Marquis. Productions.